In this episode of the Android Image Viewer tutorial, we're going to be creating a custom image view. Why use something that's already given to you when you can actually write all the code for it and implement it yourself? Welcome to Mobile Application Tutorials, my name's Nigel. Okay, as I mentioned in the intro, we're going to be creating a custom image view. Now, why would I want to create a custom image view, you may say? Um, the reason is, for our pinch zoom, we're going to be putting some, what we call listeners, detectors, into our image view, such as when you zoom or pinch or drag. So we're going to put images, uh, we're going to put listeners, embed those into our image view. And for us to do that, we have to actually create a custom image view. So we'll just be extending the current Android supplied image view and just implementing it, implementing that and then adding our listeners. But this tutorial is going to be all about just creating the custom image view. And then we're going to swap it with the image view that we've currently been using just to test that it works. Okay, let's make a start. And the first thing I'd like to do is just fix my package name and if you want to know how to fix a package name this tutorial will show you how, how to do that as well so go to your build.gradle and inside the application ID my mobapptut.com is around the wrong way so let me just fix that now and so I'm going to call it com I should always start with a com in mobapptut at tuts so that's more the correct recommended way that uh, Google wants us to see us labeling our package names I will have to resync that that's done okay so I'm creating a custom image view so first thing is why don't we create that custom image view okay so right click on actually let's let me show you here so in this position here is I want to create my class inside this directory so I'm just going to right click on it select new select Java class and I'm going to call this pinch zoom image view select OK I'm not going to add it to git just yet but it will be uploaded to git at a later stage OK now I want to extend and then image view as such uh, just let me fix that get the library for image view okay it's if I hover my mouse over it, it's going to ask me to put a default constructor in there I can do that on a Mac just command in select constructor I think I select the second one down that's it okay I want to add two more constructors and just let me select it here I'm going to override a method so I want to add some overridden methods actually so on so on size change down here I'll highlight this it's recommended in the documentation that we override this so let's just select that wait for Android Studio so that's done now I'm also going to override another uh, method as well so I go back up here, press Control N, override, and this I believe is called on draw. So down here, on I'm going to select on draw and on draw, and I'm just going to save that. Okay, I'm not going to make any changes to these methods at all. Um, that will come at a later stage. I just want to make sure I've set up the foundation for my custom image view. Okay, so that's now created. So now we can add that to our layout as you would normally do. So go into your layout. Okay, there's a little bit of a bug here. I've put all the padding here in the layout. I want to move that padding just into my thumbnail view, which is going to be this image view here. So let's just delete that. And I'm just going to paste it in here. Okay, so this in effect is going to turn this particular image view into a smaller size due to the padding. We're going to use this as the thumbnail. 
Okay, underneath this, I'm going to add my custom image view. And what is it? Here it is here. It's sort of auto-selecting it for me. Um, Mobat Touch image view as such. And I'm just going to select match parents for that as well. So that's fine. I just want to add an ID to this because I'm going to be associating it with a um, pinch zoom image view in the actual source code. So let's, let me add an ID. And I think I'll call this one the same name, sort of pinch zoom image view as such. Okay, I'm, I'm happy with that. Okay, now we can go into source code and create a pinch zoom image view and associate it with this pinch zoom image view that's already in the layout. So let's go to the source code. Here it is, the main activity. Now, first thing I want to do is add a pinch zoom image view. And I'm going to add that under the image view here. So it's pinch zoom image view, and I'll just call it member pinch zoom image view as such. Let's put a little space there, find it easier. Okay, now let's uh, initialize it, and we'll just do the same thing what we're doing with the image view down here. So pinch zoom image view, we'll have to cast that as a pinch zoom image view. And find view by id r dot id dot pinch zoom image view. Exactly the same as what we've done up there. Okay, so we've now got access to the pinch zoom image view in the layout. And last part here is at the moment we're using Glide to load the bitmap into the image view. So what I'm going to do next is use Glide to load it into our new image view. So I can comment this out. And call glide again, exactly the same above, but we're going to with, and it'll be this. Load will be the same file, which is the URI. And into will be our pinch zoom image view. As such. Okay, and that's all we need to do for that. So. Let's try running this and see what happens. Let's turn on my device. Press. Okay, the application's now started. Let me record it so you can see what I'm doing. Got some more photos added here. Okay, I went climbing up a mountain, Gifu City. And took some photos, so let's select one of those. You won't be able to see it that clearly anyway. And there we have it. This is actually the full size image that we're displaying, so um, it, it works. And the reason it's full size, we set it to match the parent dimensions using Glide. So our custom image view is operational and working. Okay, so we just proved that our custom image view is working at this stage, so that was successful. We've now got the framework for what we're going to want to attach our pinch zoom listeners and put in our, all our resizing code and everything. So we've validated and you've learned how to set up your own custom view, or in this case a custom image view. We've learned just the basics for that. It is very powerful. You can add attributes and settings and configurations and all that to your view as well, but I want to keep this nice and short. Okay, so that completes this episode of the Android Image Viewer tutorial. If you want to get notified of the following tutorials or any of the other tutorials I'm working on, click on that subscribe button down below now. 
and surrounding me is all my social media accounts if you want to keep up to date with all the latest news and updates and everything that I'm currently working on so uh, and you can access these accounts if you're on a PC you can just click on them now if you want just to get straight into the accounts and don't forget straight above me is a link to my website as well so as well having as having the YouTube video we've got the information of each of the code changes that we make in the each in this tutorial and we also have got the information of github so all these code changes get pushed up to github and get a tag associated with them so you can pull down those exact code changes if needed anyway that's all for this one bye for now